is one of the baddest athletes of all time. I'm going to give you a hint. Sonny L. Yeah, I know. You're saying Sonny Liston. But let me finish the statement. I'm talking about one of the baddest athletes of all time out of Springfield High School in Holland, Ohio. Now, when I say Sonny L, the answer is clear. We're talking about Sonny Lewis. Harold Sonny Lewis. This one's about you. I'm Ed McNeil, and I am gifted. And I'm gifted because of Coach Lewis's influence on my life. Coach Lewis is a social studies teacher, geography teacher, but he was a coach. And he was my wrestling coach. I came into wrestling late in life as a freshman in high school. I wish I would have known about this in elementary school and the primary ages because I love the sport. But listen, Coach Lewis is an incredible athlete. He hold, held records and had outstanding performance in, as a wrestler in high school through Springfield High School. He had perf outstanding performance in both track and field as well as cross country as a distance runner. And he was an outstanding coach in volleyball, in wrestling, you name it. And one of the things that made him such a great coach was he was a technician. He really was good at teaching technique. And that was one of the things I admired most about him as a wrestling coach. But I want to tell you one quick story about his profound influence on me. And it happened in under, I'm going to say it's happened in 13 to 14 minutes. Before every wrestling practice, we ran in the, the village of Holland. We ran a two-mile course. Well, most of us ran a two-mile course. You run this two-mile course, and then you came back, and you got ready to go on the wrestling deck. I was running one day, and I heard footsteps. I could feel a presence coming up on me, and that was unusual. I ran. I kept a really decent pace, but there weren't a whole lot of people out there just trying to run extremely hard for, for those two miles. But I, I felt the footsteps, and I thought, well, who is this? It was Coach Lewis. He was fast approaching, and the next thing I knew, he was beside me. But I said, oh, no, 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 no. I can't let this guy beat me. I can't let my coach beat me. And so I started running side by side with him. It didn't take long to realize that this was going to be a grueling run if I was going to maintain pace with him. And so I started doing that. Man, I think at one point I tried to dip off, and he said, oh, no, 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 keep going. And so I was in for the most difficult run up of my life up until that point. I had never run so hard, so fast. And as we made our way back towards the school, there we were. And he said, man, we got a kick. And I just kicked in, to, in and finished strong and he just watched me. As he, uh, just a couple of moments later, came up next to me and I was trying to catch my breath, he said, that's how you run every practice. Now, there's something about someone running with you that can that raises your expectation and raises your level. So I never ran that fast, but I always kept a very, very good, solid pace. But I will fast forward now to this portion of my life. As an adult, the past 10 years of my life, I decided I needed to stay in shape. And one of the things I do is I run. I run five days a week. And I always keep a really decent pace and I want to finish strong. And it's something that I picked up from just one run with Coach Lewis. Coach Lewis taught me about the power of intensity and really giving your all in what you do. Coach Lewis, I am gift ed because of your influence on me.